Okay. So here we are. So uh, I saw I saw that the good doctor had, had put out a video on this, and I had mentioned to uh, someone that I may do a video on this, especially since the last time I I, I kind of like <laughs> my. Uh, couple videos back I did not vibe with uh, what this guy was spitting out but this time he is on the fucking level he, he is uh, spitting out the fucking real so here we are and uh, I just got done with A, uh, uh, an intense level. And it was to a place... I can't say that... Okay, first of all, this is about cold therapy. And, uh... It was strange, because I had, uh... More heat in my, uh... I guess... Water heater... Than, than I usually do, so I uh, I had a long period of time where I was in hot water, like longer than normal, because I I do extreme hot and I do extreme cold, especially now that we're in winter, it, it's it's uh, like damn near freezing water, and. I have it pressurized, which I've mentioned before. So it's, it's blasting the uh, with with the pressure. It's blasting that temperature into uh, the extremity that I have uh, under the water. I just I, I circulate <laughs> all my body parts. So this time I was able to get my body very hot, very warm for a long period of time before I went into the cold. And uh, it was another level. Because my body kept uh, warming back up, like my organs got so warm that... Uh, the heat would go from my extremities to my organs, and then it would quickly go back out to my extremities. So, uh, I could have spent more time in the cold. It's Each time I do this, it's like my, my body adapts quicker. And uh, adjust to the levels of the cold. And even getting past that first threshold of the cold is a fucking feat. So just because I'm talking about these deeper levels, like maybe like it's a nonchalant or nothing, dude, it takes time to fucking you know, get to the deeper layers. Because as we progress, it, and this is like what the cold will teach you, and like as, as fucking uh, Robert Kassar will throw out here, and this is like when I was just like, fuck yes, we're doing this, he, he threw out Wim Hof, I'm like, yep, yeah, boy, but, uh, and Wim Hof knows like the cold better than probably any fucking human that has put themselves out there, at least. But there's layers and levels to this, uh, and, and, and the cold, what it does is it reminds you of, uh, D 
deeper levels of integration. So whenever I'm, I, like tonight, whenever I was in uh, deep levels of cold, my body adjusts. And then it's like, really, it was like I wasn't cold anymore. I mean, at first, yes, I have to go through the layers of the cold and the barriers. But then it got to a point where I was just like, I could be here for a long fucking time if I wanted to. It was very interesting. And then uh, the mental uh, spaces that happen during deep level uh, cold immersion. If uh, any of you have had any kind of uh, deeper level shamanic or meditative experiences, or if you have had uh, very deep engagements with shamanic Plant, uh, plant spirit medicines. Uh, these things come up like we tap back in, like the cold, like 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 he will say here, like I have been saying with my, with my cold experiences is, it, it gets to the bone, and once you get to that depth, the level of cold, and because I'm doing pressurized cold, like I am fucking. <laughs> directing it into the bone. Again, I'm sitting there allowing it to happen. And you go through layers of pain. You go through layers of uh, all kinds of sensations from uh, you know, the prickly feeling, the burning even. You feel like a weird burning sensation to an achiness to just numb to uh, a re-enlivened state and then afterwards your body is so fucking full of energy but uh the mental spaces that I've, I've been tapping into um it's it's bringing back aspects of what I used to tap into whenever I would go out in nature um, alone at night on dirt roads that no one would go on and just meditate hard and blast off and uh, really integrate uh, being under the stars and out in nature alone That can do some powerful stuff to you as well. Especially whenever you uh, are a little bit aware and knowledgeable about where to take it. As in, how to access these points. And it's just, it's just experience and practice. So because of uh, past experiences, whenever I had been in these deep states and then had things happen, I have not been doing that anymore. So this uh, deep level cold immersion has been reminding me. It's been taking me back. Alright, so here we go. Ice water cold therapy. Dr. Robert Kassar, EarthnerAcademy.com. This is going to be a tip of the day. Have you ever heard of, tip of ice the day. water cold therapy? And I'm talking cold. And it's not just drinking ice water. That's of course, drinking ice water, but this is immersing yourself in ice cold water. We just did a video on which you can call cryotherapy, which is cold water therapy, and 
And what a beautiful thing to be able to really do the opposite of what we do in the sauna, which of course is increasing the amount of heat in your body in the sauna, so you sweat. So the opposite of that would be cold therapy. And cold therapy, of course, is going... Yes, yeah, so you can do this with sauna, or you can just uh, do this with your shower, and I, I experience extreme hot, and this is... Even with the hot, it's going to take time for your body. Like, you can't go too hot, obviously, so you have to get your body adjusted to the level of heat, and then you can go a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper, and it's the same with the cold. You, you allow your body time to adapt, and then you can go deeper and deeper. But, but this is where the magic is, like you want to utilize the hot and the cold because they both have specific properties that happen with, uh, and I've explained this before, with the heat we are kind of building up the outer layers and the extremities and then uh, with cold we are sending that energy back into the core and, and into the organs and into the bone if you can get that uh, deep into the marrow, sky hoppy, every time dude. Uh, I'm I'm fucking reminded of you. Going deep into the marrow. Fuck yes. Going into about 42 degree water and staying in as long. Yeah, that's that's cold water. Um, get into the freezing water though. Like, whenever my water's pressurized, I can get it to very very cold levels, and because it's still Moving at a quick speed, it can get quite cold. And the pressure sends the temperature deeper. So uh, it's, just, it's, just, it's just been very interesting and intriguing and uh, seeing what, what has been happening to my cardio. Even though, even though I have not been doing all that much cardio. My cardiovascular system has the bandwidth has increased quite exponentially, really. And I absolutely tie this back into the breath because when I am in these extreme levels of cold, I am not breathing like Wim Hof. I am barely breathing, to be honest. And then tonight, whenever I got out of it, I, I did uh, some of my deep meditation where I kind of tapped into the no breath or the micro breath. And just sat with the feeling of having my outer uh, layers of my body being that cold. And then feeling the heat uh, deep in the core. If you can handle, and sometimes in the beginning you're going to maybe be able, be able to do that for, if you're lucky, for two minutes. At and first, yeah. If you can work your way up a little bit at a time. Exactly. Yesterday I did 12 minute session, 42 degrees. And I did about 35 40 minutes in the cold and I, I could have done quite a bit more so uh, I'm looking forward to the deeper levels because I've I keep tapping into deeper and deeper layers and now I'm ready to go a little bit deeper <laughs> to, to really get into that Wim Hof level Wow, what a life-changing experience. Yeah, right? We have 12, or actually 11 participants at the Earth Academy retreats, and they're on their 11th day of fasting. And I just want to say, I, I love this guy, because he, he invites people to come into a space where they can just fucking water fast and have an engagement with, like, uh, 
deep level of nature and engagement. With, with just it's the focus of it just being focused on what they're doing and not having all their uh, normal distractions around them. And then also they do other deep level uh, methods and modalities of healing and uh, detoxing and cleansing. So uh, what this guy does is fucking magical shit. Even though he, he uh, doesn't quite, you know, it's just an experiment to him. And he will, you know, say this himself. It's just an experiment. He's experimenting with uh, what works and what doesn't and finding out for himself the uh, most beneficial ways of engaging what we have been taught is food and sustenance, energy. And uh, each of them were trying the cold water therapy, remember, when they're fasting. So when you're in the cold water, what do you think happens? Your body gets this cold, deep sensation all the way to the bone. And that's what actually hurts the most is your legs and the cat yeah that was awesome him saying that uh yeah and if you uh well while you're fasting if you're doing it like that's your body's already conserving and storing up energy for your organs and for your core so uh doing it while you're fasting is, is some deep level shit abs and the arms is what i felt the most because of the deep cold deep sensation yeah, and I, I've uh, showed, I've showed uh, Troy Casey, certified health nut. You know, he's he's all about this fucking shit. He does this shit every day, and he does his little dance. And I've I've found that you know once I get out of my uh, super crazy fucking cold shit, I do that same fucking movement like that, that Troy Casey does, and I just fucking shake and shake because it feels so fucking good. Like just the fucking shake and gyrate, like move the body in uh, different various forms and just and just keep doing it and uh, re-enliven the uh, heat back into the extremities and I keep being asked by people why I do this and I tell them you know all the things that I, I experience and benefit from it but uh, it's just kind of Oh, okay, right. <laughs> but, uh... This is some next level shit whenever you're wanting to tap into deep level healing and uh, recovery. This is the ultimate form of recovery. If you're, like, uh, exercising and putting your body through, like, uh, extremes. I've also noticed that my bones are hardening, so whenever I'm in my kickboxing classes, uh, whenever I hit the bag, the whole fucking frame is coming off the ground. And uh, I'm just, I'm only getting stronger. I'm really just now tapping into this deeper layer. So, uh, yeah, I'm only, I'm only witnessing extreme benefit from this it aches but it's what it's doing is stimulating your system and like i've said heat. like i've said before like you're going to go through the layers of the cold and it's it's going to experience a lot of different things at first if your body if you get your skin super hot first 
then uh, you, you do with the ice cold, it's going to feel like it's burning. And then you're going to go through the layer of, you know, it, it's numbing and then it gets achy. And then all of a sudden it's like you don't feel anything anymore. And then that's whenever you're getting into the very, very deep layers. And you, you can also tap into where your body, like if you're doing what I do, which is uh, the pressurized, your body kind of, uh, you start to, your body starts to tell you where it needs the cold at. And uh, it's also very wise, even if you are maybe injured on one side of your body, say one arm or one leg, apply the super hot and super cold there. Of course, that's that's where we want to target, but you, you must do the other side as well, the, the quote-unquote good side. Because of how the body works, how the system works. We ha we have to uh, do that balance. Otherwise, the body is going to try to balance itself out. So, whenever we kind of aid the body in that process and balancing, the healing is going to come about faster. So, if you haven't heard of this type of therapy before, it's a good idea for you to look up Wim Hof, and he's. Hell also yeah. called the Iceman. What Hell an incredible yeah. guy. Joe Rogan did a two hour interview with him. Don't don't even <sighs> fucking Joe Rogan. But uh he's on two two of them of the interviews with him. And I hope he continues to do more with him. But uh I only watch Joe Rogan nowadays in, in short little clips, uh, segments that come up that seem interesting because Joe Rogan was lost in the sauce a long time ago. Flippy floppy wishy washy. He uh, decided to go along with the scripts because, and I mean, I understand, like, you know, if you have kids and shit, like, uh, you're just, oh, it's conspiracy theory and stuff, like, we, nah, I don't want to do that because then my kids will seem like we're fucking weirdos and then be outcasted, I get that. But whenever you have a certain level of awareness coming in at you, and you decide to uh, bitch out like Joe Rogan does. That is a uh, deep level scum. I don't want to go too dark into it because I've done videos of uh, how much I despise Joe Rogan, but I did not put those videos up. <laughs> so I don't, I don't fucking like sending that energy out. Even when I s make certain videos of people, and I'm like, I don't necessarily agree with them. I'm like, eh, am I going to put this out or not? I don't know. But Joe Rogan is someone, and I and I am around a person that is influenced deeply by Joe Rogan and his podcast. And uh, it's hard for me to have deeper levels of conversation with this person. As a matter of fact, it's impossible. Because he has been uh, brainwashed. Uh, and, and not... not washed in like a cleansed way like brain warped to regurgitating shit instead of investigating stuff oh hey I heard this and they say this and they say that who the fuck is they what are you talking about dude and so did Vice too just look him up Iceman yeah, so did uh, Sky Life, which, which I've uh, showcased. 
I've, I've done videos of. Uh, yes Theory. Definitely check that out. Yes Theory and Wim Hof. Wim Hof. And you'll learn that this is not just some type of therapy that really doesn't have any science back to it, but it has a lot of different science. And this guy has changed a lot of the ways we think about, well, dealing with cold. He hiked Everest in his shorts. <laughs> okay, with not only that, he teaches people to do it for themselves, which is what I just said with Yes Theory and Sky Life. They they all did that. He 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 not only uh, neutralizes sickness inside the body. He takes it a step further and goes, "Hey, I will teach people to do this for themselves, just with the breath work, not with the cold, just with the in intensive breath work." And yes, like. From the outside looking in, you would be like, oh, it's just over-oxygenating the system and all that oxygen is going to, you know, uh, uh, s send the body into a more a certain polarity. But what really is happening is, is an energy exchange is happening. You are, you are flooding your body with life. Because breath is life. But the cold also forces the breath and the life into deeper levels and layers. lot of different types of things that you couldn't even imagine, okay, being able to control your body with your mind. Mm -hmm. So I watched probably about five hours worth of his videos and really learning Good. a lot of the different techniques that he teaches, the breathing techniques and just the mind over matter and what this does and maybe what it can do with maybe helping you with your depression. Because remember, what you're doing is you're resetting your body. You're going as deep as you can go with cold. And then what I do is I go into the sauna and take the heat and warm myself back up. Mm. And then I go jump back into the water again. Good. And you can do that three, four, five times. Yes. So, you know, he's got world records in being able to deal with the cold. 80 minutes in the cold. And Einstein College doing different types of scientific research with his blood to see how all these different mm -hmm. factors inside the body deal with this super cold, which would usually kill anybody, just because you're not really used to this cold, just like overheating yourself would kill somebody too. Remember, your body has to deal with either cooling itself down when you overheat yourself, or you have to be able to, when you're cooling yourself down, you have to figure out your core temperature has to be able to be smart enough to, to learn how to increase its heat, even though it's being frozen. <laughs> so I and this is why it's important to, you know, we, we hear about, um, people talk about cold therapy, but this is, it's, it, it's both. Like we can just as easily talk about hot therapy, heat therapy with, with the saunas. And uh, with with the hot water and going back and forth. Uh, Juji Mufu has started doing this uh, pretty regularly with with the hot and cold. A lot of people do this. Um, Half Thor uh, Bjornsson, if I said that right. A strong man, like competitor in those competitions. Uh, he's from Iceland. Uh, he, he does extreme hot and cold. And he's uh, currently just blasting fucking records out of, uh, you know, doing different kind of weightlifting. 
and he's just a fucking monster of a human being. I've never watched uh, Game of Thrones, but he's like the mountain in Game of Thrones, I guess. Absolute monster. Right now, he is uh, the biggest that he's ever looked, and according to him, he's the strongest he's ever felt. And that kind of shows, you know, if you're breaking fucking world records and shit. <laughs> There's a lot of people doing, like, crazy fucking cold things and, uh, just, just realizing, redefining what their limits were. And it's a fucking beautiful thing. It's, it's a beautiful thing to be a part of that and be able to feel deeply into like uh, the collective accessing certain things while I'm doing it as well and it's I don't know dude <laughs> it's, it's well beyond words anyways this is actually one of the best ways as he was talking about and I feel the same way I mean incredible feeling from going into the cold yes. and dealing with it the first yes. few minutes again gonna hurt a lot your arms start to change and at the very beginning you know you go through that uh hypothermia state which i never really went through actually i didn't start to do like the uh deep level cold like <sighs> kind of breath until i started tapping into uh getting the cold into my bone and then afterwards that's when my body started being like, oh, hey, we need to fucking <laughs> take in energy so that we can warm up. And then I started doing um, different levels and layers of pranayama. Actually, the cold therapy has opened me up into another level of uh, pranayama that I have not engaged. And it's, uh, as with almost all of my meditative practices and experiences, I am led into them. I don't have any outside information. I just experience them. And then through that experience, I am led to uh, whatever kind of material or person I am uh, needed to be shown in order to uh, really truly integrate on deep levels kind of like to find the words to my feelings that I had so this uh breathing that I've been doing after the after I'm out of the cold um, my diaphragm is I, I'm feeling muscles being activated that I don't normally activate, like uh, in my back even, my lower back. So it's not like deep level breathing that I'm doing, it's it's more like um, quick um, exertions. Like <laughs> but like utilizing my diaphragm in doing that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's just I'm going along with the fucking ride with the process, and it's fucking magical. And it keeps getting better. <laughs> your legs tingle, they ache, and after about two or three minutes, your body sort of likes this cold. Ah, uh, motherfucker. Core. So what they say... Deep into the core, and it likes it. I have not watched this part yet. Like, dude, this is exactly what the fuck I feel. Like, once you go through the layers of the pain and your body adapts, it's like, okay, now let's get down to it. Where do we need to utilize the fucking cold? Well, with how I'm doing it, with the pressurizing. But if you're just doing a nice bath, uh, you start to tap into the parts of your body kind of start to speak to you that need the healing. If you're injured or there's a uh, 
places in your body of stagnation, the cold will bring that um, to the forefront. Is it actually will help you with depression? Yes. It'll reset your system, okay, as far as even your immune system. Remember, you're trying to increase your B, B cells, your T cells, okay, your immune system cells by freezing the inside, not freezing, but taking it down to a super cold temperature yes. and starting, well, your body from scratch to reheat itself back up. And this is just, I've said this before, you know, like, I, like I've just said, you know, doing the fucking heat and, and expand, it's expansion and contraction and expansion and contraction. Going into the deeper layers. Okay, so, yeah. Let's see what we got here, card wise. Something to do with the, uh, the cold, right? Because, like, you have the, the sunlight, right? And then the cold light, right? Like, the temperature of the cold light, of the moonlight, is colder, isn't it? This is sun and moon channels here, people, that we're talking about. Uh, accessing sun and moon channels of the inner workings of the body. Right, access both. Access both and collapse them both and upon themselves. And that's whenever you access the inner channel. And uh, this is going to speak to a certain someone, <laughs> of course. With all this, all this talk. But I hope it, it, it also reaches um, other people who, who kind of know what the fuck I'm talking about on, on certain levels. The moon. Jagged stone pillars. Loom across an eerie landscape. Between them flows a wild river. On its banks, a dog and a wolf stand, facing each other. A lobster rises to the surface, reaching for the vast inverted crescent of the moon. Drops of dew fall from the sky to the earth. The moon is guardian of the night soul, our subconscious minds. She speaks to us from the other side of day in the signs and symbols, some inspiring and others frightening. The moon's terrain is foreign and bewildering to most. Indeed, her appearance may portend a time of confusion uncontrollable emotions, or even madness. Lunatics, right? But if we are prepared to leave behind familiar territory, the moon can lead us to our deepest source of creativity. This is what I'm talking about. The moon, the cold, going past the layers into the deeper levels we tap into that core 
power and isness. She can help us tap into our intuitive and psychic abilities. This is what I'm experiencing with the cold. With night vision, we see what the daylight only obscures, the hidden forces behind a waking reality. When the moon comes up in a reading, peer into the shadows of your mind. Pay attention to your dreams. Look at your fears to see what lies behind them, beyond them. Accept the power and strangeness of your own imagination and follow the deep currents of your mind toward the distant horizon which isn't ever that far away or so distant as much as what you have been led to believe it is or what you have been led to create So yeah, we'll end it there. Tap into the layers, people. You, it, I'm not. You don't. You don't have to, or you know, go into the cold to access these things. These, the cold rem helps remind us, and this is what it's done for me. It's helped remind me of the deep layers that I have accessed in the past and then that I have because of many different circumstances and situations and traumas that have happened I have forgotten or let go of for a time the cold has reminded me of these deep levels of integration and uh, it, it's pretty fucking powerful stuff people Deep level healing, powerful gnosis and integration. Get into the cold, yes, but also get into the like I, I like I said, blah, like I say. The polarities will teach us. Well, accessing accessing both polarities will teach us where. Eventually, we'll be able, be able to uh, sense where that sweet spot is. And then we can access them whenever we want and come back to our homeostasis, our point, our central point. We have more uh, capacity and capability to choose how to create. So yeah, that's it for now. Peace.